Today we are asking the question of what if Terraria had some shaders and thanks to Team Mod Loader 1.4 and some lovely mod developers we can go ahead and check out a mod here that does just that boom lights and shadows this is a cool little mod as you can see provides some lights and shadow effects there are some options in the mod config let's go ahead let's look at the mod config here and as you can see we got a lot of options we could tweak i don't know what the default is here let me see there you go that's the default so let's check out the default here let's see how it is and then we're gonna play around and you know maybe make it crazy see how that looks too so let's hop into a world all right we are in the world and as we can see the sunshine is hitting nice today look at the shadows coming off of the trees and stuff this is pretty cool you know terraria is a game you look at it and you don't really expect to look at it and be like wow that actually looks pretty cool in terms of uh you know the environment and stuff like that they got a couple cool environments here and though here and there in terraria don't get me wrong but like yeah this is dope as hell having shadows and shaders i love shaders in games that make them look cool uh minecraft is a good example of when you add shaders and everything looks cool as hell looks more realistic but this is dope i kind of want to just run through here check out all the different biomes see how it looks uh, i think underground you're not going to get too much of an effect for obvious reasons because i'm assuming these shaders mainly apply to just the sun and the moon is what i would assume i don't think there's any other like lighting effects not that i know of i need to give myself an item i'm over here walking we're over here in the desert and look how bright it is over here which makes sense it honestly makes sense to have an area like this so bright it's a desert like come on you're gonna be getting blinded over here by the rays of sun it looks super hot over here on top of the desert already having the little like wave effect the little heat wave effect it looks even hotter like my character is about to start busting out into sweat let's go ahead let's head to the jungle see what it's looking like over here nothing too crazy here doesn't look anything too crazy like the desert but it still looks nice let's head over here into the corruption now this i'm feeling this feels like is really dark is a lot darker here and then there's just little cracks of sunlight hitting us i kind of wish it was a little bit more darker like pitch or maybe not pitch black but a little bit more darker and legit like little beams of light are just cracking through every now and then that would really feel nice for this area we got the beach i'm assuming the beach is gonna be pretty sunny right it's pretty much like the desert i like this though feels like i'm about to go on vacation okay we're over here at the snow biome snow biome also pretty bright because you know it is a snow biome it's literally like white colors everywhere blinding i usually hate snow biomes in video games just because like i just hate seeing the color white over and over again that sounds racist i promise you i'm not racist we could check out some of these uh sky islands i don't think they're gonna be too crazy let's go really high wow it's a lot brighter because like literally the sun is right there i like this this looks really good look how hard the sunlight's hitting everything up here all right we're over at the dungeon i, I don't i don't expect much here <laughs> And then I guess we could hit up an underground. Let's hit up an underground area like this. Yeah, see, I don't think the, the shaders and stuff is going to affect too much here. Uh, I do hope in the future, maybe somebody figures out something to have, like, even, like, all these lights, all the type of lights that you have in your hands to have cool shadows and stuff. But yeah, now, well, I guess let's check out the mushroom barn real quick. Yeah, just one more area that has lights. This definitely is an ambient light area. Maybe even hell while we're at it. No, I don't see much down here. But yeah, now let's go mess with the config options i think what we're gonna do is max out everything here we're gonna put this to five intensity to 1.5 moonlight intensity shadow intensity bloom intensity everything up and let's see what stuff is looking like now oh my god <laughs> that light is blinding i am being blinded it still looks beautiful though it still looks beautiful let's go ahead let's check out uh, the desert let's check out this desert the one with the oasis oh my god <laughs> terraria but i go blind when i look at the sun that is what this playthrough is about to be but i'm not gonna lie it's still looking pretty good go ahead see the beach yep the beach is beaming snow biome the snow biome is beaming this looks like sand with how much light is hitting it what about the corruption the corruption is still pretty dark it's still pretty dark nice hit up the jungle the jungle honestly is not too bad there's actually a lot of trees here i like that the trees are actually blocking the light that's cool but now let us make it nighttime i kind of did not do it with our first config option it's all good because the nighttime's gonna look even better where's the moon at i, I kind of need the moon to be out <laughs> there we go now this is the nighttime i like dude it is foggy looking like san francisco right now all right this light is hidden i don't know if uh, the moon affects the type of light that's what i'm kind of interested in let me see here let me see here i don't think the moon affects it yeah it's just gonna be pretty bright every time uh let's go ahead let's hit the desert oh my god 
Let's hit the jungle. Everything's looking pretty similar right now. Even this place. Even the snow biome. All right, let's head back to the default options here. Or actually, maybe let's tweak it a little bit myself because I kind of want to see the moon regularly. So I, I will set it to default, but I'm going to put up the quality. I'm going to bring up the shadow intensity and I'm going to bring up the moonlight intensity. Let's do like 1.3. Let's mess around with that. See how that is. All right, the moon is still bright as hell. <laughs> <laughs> all right i put everything back on default and i like this a lot better i like this a lot better you pop out a torch look how nice it looks with a torch out this really is some ambient lighting right here i'm thinking the default looks the best for nighttime uh, i love how the sunflowers glow look at this it's just really good looking if you ever wanted to play terraria and have your game looking really good boom bada bing this is a perfect mod right here uh you get some texture packs that make even the blocks and stuff look good like you know you could really get some crazy looking gameplay you could really make your game look different let's hit up the corruption i'm interested to see the corruption yeah the corruption looking spooky even darker with the little moon in the background our only light source well besides my torch but yeah it's it's cool it's cool i really do like this detail of like how the uh, trees can block the light that's really cool but yeah that's gonna be all for this video make sure you guys check out the mod this is on the t mod loader 1.4 alpha so don't be looking on the t mod loader 1.3 and asking like where the heck is the mod because i know a lot of people did that for the max luck mod even though i swear to god i mentioned that we're playing 1.4 at least a couple of times but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see y'all next time hey make sure you guys follow the twitch because i'll be streaming a lot on there and make sure to subscribe to the second channel because that's where i post all the twitch streams just gotta throw that out there we need more people to watch the twitch streams i promise you they're worth it they're funny as hell see ya